Jermaine, obviously it's been a frustrating, certainly second half of the campaign. How have you managed to keep yourself smiling? Because it's been difficult for you, hasn't it? Yeah, to be fair, at the beginning I went, obviously when I had my operation and that. Um, when I got told I was going to be out for about three or four months, I was devastated. I was like, oh, like I, can't, I can't do anything about it now. So I just, I just tried to keep my head up, stay positive with the physio and that, and um, just try to get back, come back stronger and better. Yeah, talk us through what you actually did because it was um, it was difficult to comprehend because obviously yeah. you, you played with it for a little while. Yeah, well, I first started feeling problems in my foot in about October. Um, it wasn't really picked up properly until about February when I had a scan and then um, I had a, a non-union fracture in my foot, which obviously means it's not going to heal by itself. So I had a few screws put in there, um, four screws it was, had my surgery in there and um, the doctor's like, well, 50-50, it might work, it might not, but it's, it's gone really well so far, so looking optimistic for next season. Yeah, I mean, obviously, as the latter end of the season sort of came about, you, mm. you sort of remember an eye on whether you might come back towards the yeah, end of the season, yeah. but it wasn't really worth the risk, was it? No, we had a, we had the conversation, was like, well, it's not worth your, your sort of your health, really, like, do you know what I mean? So we thought we'll just take our time with it, make sure I come back properly and make our main focus next season. What have you actually been able to do in the last couple of months? Nothing. Um, I just started walking about three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago. I was in a cast, I was like bed-bound, house-bound. Um, so I, I can't even jog at the moment. So it's just, it's slow. It's been a painful process, but we're getting there, we're getting yeah. there. Did you think when you first had it diagnosed that you were thinking, oh, this is quite a quite short-term thing? Because people, mm. you know, break toes, break yeah, feet, yeah. And, and, and it can come quite quick. But yours yeah. was so specific that it To be fair, quite... I knew it wasn't going to be because the way the consultant, like, briefed me about the injuries, like, no, this is a serious, serious thing. Mm. So I was, uh, I was a bit down for a few weeks, but it's not, it's been, a, you know, it is what it is, do you know what I mean? Has it been doubly frustrating for you to happen this season? Because I yeah, know everyone was talking it over, wasn't it? Especially, especially, I started the season quite well, I think, and it just sort of, it just fizzled out into just nothing, which is proper, like, disappointing for me, just because obviously as a footballer, you just want to play mm. and watching everyone play and... It's just a, a really bad situation I was put in, but you know, it's something I've got to learn from and come back from and hopefully it'll make me a better person and yeah. a player. When you're on the sidelines, obviously you have so many people around you to try and keep you smiling. I know mm. you've done a lot of your rehab with Jack Baldwin and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Judd Chappell, the physio. I mean, yeah. has that been important for you? Yeah, definitely. The fact that I'm not by myself has helped a lot. Like, me and Jack are always in the physio room early, leaving late. Like, it's helped a lot. It's just someone you can be there with and spur along, like even in the gym. We do our rehab together and that, so always helping each other along, which is really good. You wasn't in gym anyway, but I suppose you've spent <laughs> quite more time than yeah, you anticipated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, I've been working on that, like, sort of core, balance, stability, stuff like that. Not, like, weights and stuff, just different things that are going to help me um, improve and get better for the season coming up. Mm. Is this pre-season the biggest you've ever had, do you think? Yeah, easily. 100%. 100%. It's, it's like, I wouldn't say make or break, but it's a very, very important season for me. Very yeah. important. So I'm going to go away do what I'm told rehab-wise, relax, like work when I need to and come back and hopefully emulate what I did last pre-season because I think I had an alright pre-season to be fair. Yeah, it's, I suppose it's like a, a pop star when they have that, the, the big break, this, yeah. this is, this is the it. challenge. Yeah, 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 it's all or nothing. To, for, that's how I see it anyway, so that's what I'm going to give in. All my effort, everything I can, I can't give any more, then I don't have any complaints, you know what I mean?